Hi, this is Frank Lacey. It's January 17th. Arrived out at sunrise at the Lacey residence. Zero degrees outside. And uh, what in the world am I doing out here filming ducks? Well, I'm in the middle of a three day fast. And so I'm a little bit hungry and maybe a little silly. But uh, I just wanted to show you how these ducks react uh, towards food. And uh, it's kind of how I feel about food right now. Makes me kind of want to uh, scurry around and maybe even make a fool of myself trying to get some food or whatever it is. But uh, th these ducks seem like they don't care what people think. They don't care if they scurry around. And uh, you know what? They're just going to get some food. You know? Uh, I was reading this morning. Uh, Psalm 119 in the message and uh, some of the other translations I was kind of comparing it here's what it says in the message because you have satisfied me God I promise to do everything you say I beg you from the bottom of my heart smile be gracious to me just as you promised when I took a long careful look at your ways I got my feet back on the trail you blazed. I was up at once, didn't drag my feet, was quick to follow your orders. The wicked hemmed me in, there was no way out, but not for a minute did I forget your plan for me. I get up in the middle of the night to thank you. Your decisions are so right, so true, I can't wait till morning. I'm a friend and companion of all who fear you and those who committed those committed to living by your rules. Your love, God, fills the earth. Train me to live by your counsel. Well, I was just thinking about this, and I guess that's why I wanted to show you the ducks down here. Because, you know, these ducks, you know, they go scurrying after this food. They want to be sustained. Uh, they're going to be they're going to be taken care of one way or the other. And to me, that's kind of how it is with fasting. You know, I mean, normally we're like this with food. I mean, we run after it. We do everything we can. We spend lots of money. We prepare. We spend lots of time preparing. We eat like crazy. And when you fast, what you're doing is, as the psalm says, one of the one of the translations says, you have sustained me. So we, we look to God to, to sustain us and to take care of us. But our prayer during this fast is, as one of the translations said, I beg you, God, to grant me favor. And that's what we're doing. We want favor in our lives. I'm sure you want favor at work. You want favor at home. You want favor um, with God at work at our church. Man, I do. I, I really do. I just beg and plead God. I dream about seeing God at work in Farmville, Virginia, and to see the wonderful things that God wants to do here through us. And so my prayer through this time of fasting is, God, show us. Grant us favor. Bless us, oh God. Please, give us the opportunity of being able to reach people for Jesus Christ and seeing what's going to happen with that. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't done any of this fasting yet, think about doing it. Maybe you could join us at the end of it. I'm going to be talking about it and encouraging people. If you, if Some of you can't fast for a whole day food. But how about this? How about the last three days of our fast? We could fast from caffeine. If you're into tobacco, fast from tobacco. If you're into alcohol, fast from alcohol, fast from sugar, and uh, just stay away from those four things for the last three days of our fast, seeking God, asking Him, God, would you grant us favor? Let's be kind of like these ducks, okay? Let's not worry about what other people have to say. Let's just scurry after God, make a fool of ourselves sometime, and the idea is, God, give us favor. Thank you.